Hey guys, it's Mrs. Mallet, and I'm here to show you how to use the zoom method to find elapsed time. Now, to use the zoom method, you need to feel pretty confident with time, including elapsed time, and you also need to be able to add minutes that go over 60 and be able to convert them into hours and minutes. If you can do that, you can definitely use the zoom method. The I can statement for this video is, I can determine elapsed time in hours and minutes when given a start time and end time. The vocabulary you need to know is elapsed. And elapsed is just the time that occurs between the beginning and the ending of whatever it is that you're doing. So with the zoom method, you still need to know the start time and in, in this example, I'm going to use 235, just like I used in my T-chart example. And I'm going to use the end time of 525, just like I did in my T-chart example. So when you know the start time and end time, you just and you just want to find out how much time occurred between the two, you're finding out the elapsed time. Now with the zoom method, you need to label a spot with start and with the time, just like you do at the beginning of a race. Now, this is where you make the first zoom. You go from start straight on over to the right. And you're gonna go from 2.35 to the next hour, which is three o'clock. You need to know how many minutes it will take to go from 2.35 to three o'clock, and that is 25 minutes. The next step is to go from this top right corner down here to the bottom left and you're going to go from 3 o'clock to the hour of the end time which is 5 o'clock. So you're going to zoom on down here to 5 o'clock and write down the amount of hours it takes to go from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock and that is two hours. The last zoom that you'll do is to go from this hour to your end time. So from five o'clock to 525. So from here to the end, which is 525, label it end, and you write down the amount of minutes from five to 525 right here in the middle Now you're not done because you need to add these up just like you do on a T-chart. And you can go ahead and circle them. And this is where it can get tricky because you need to add up all the minutes and also all the hours. So right here you have 25 minutes here and 25 minutes there. So you have 50 minutes and you have two hours in the middle. So the elapsed time between 2.35 and 5.25 is 2 hours and 50 minutes. However, if you were to get minutes that exceeded 1 hour, you would have to be able to convert that into hours and minutes on your own. So again, the elapsed time between 2.35 and 5.25 is 2 hours and 50 minutes. I hope you like the Zoom method. I think it's pretty cool.